Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Ashley. And sorry I've been not posting any videos. It's because I'm actually training for a cooking competition. So I've been practicing. But um, anyways, today we're going to be making chicken and waffles. And I didn't put a picture of all the ingredients and measurements that I use. So I'll put that in the description below. But let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is cut your chicken pieces into little tiny pieces and then you're going to place it into some seasoned flour, into the egg wash, back into the seasoned flour and by doing this you're going to be making a flaky crust for your fried chicken. Okay, so I'm just going to be continuing the process right now and then I'm going to pop this into the refrigerator just so it could stay cold while we work on our syrup for our chicken and waffles. Okay, so what you're going to do is put everything into your sauce pot and put it on medium heat and take it off right before it comes to a boil. Don't really pay attention to much what I'm doing because I just went off a of vibe, but I'll put all of what you need in the description below. So give it a couple of stirs and then take it off the heat before it comes to a boil. Okay, so while our syrup is in the refrigerator cooling, what we're going to do is pour oil halfway in the pan because we are going to be shallow frying. That way we can keep an eye on our fried chicken. And you're going to put it on medium heat and you're going to place your chicken in carefully and let it fry. Also, make sure not to overcrowd your pan and cook three to four minutes on each side. Okay, so I got these cookie waffles at my store just to save time instead of making my own waffle recipe and I'm just sprinkling on some melted butter and parsley and I'm going to pop this and the chicken in a 350 degree oven for about 5 to 10 minutes to ensure cooking. Okay, so now we're just going to be assembling our waffles, placing our chicken on top. And we let our syrup cool and get really thick and we're just going to pour it all over the top and it's going to be delicious. Okay, there you have it, a delicious chicken and waffles recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below any future food you want to see. See you next time.